this game, isn't it? It's not just if, you, if you're good enough, you're old enough, but also if you're good enough, you're young enough. Yeah. Oh, I, 60. The youngsters today just amaze me. Um, I'm an old school player and I will always go the old school way. 60. You know, the, the different ways these youngsters are finding for check, check outs and scoring, you know, leave themselves in the position they want to be in. It, it's just amazing to watch at times. People say to me, why don't, you, why don't you try some of that? Well, nah, too, too old. Won't remember it to go. Can't teach an old <laughs> wolf new tricks. 58. But yeah, men, many people have been talking about Luke Litter in the build up to this tournament. He will have to kind of settle any nerves he might have. Although, when I've spoken to him a couple of times, he just seemed like a calm, cool character with a, a head on his shoulders that seemed way beyond his years. 100. It's to get rid of them little butterflies when you come out, come out the door, come on stage. Any player that says he didn't get the little butterflies, I think he's lying. You get the little butterflies, then you said. Very often, within the practice starts, all gone. We're up for it again. 60. He's Maggie happy with that. 134. Yeah, Hazel, having had a game on the stage already, might have benefited from that. We saw much improved performances. From a couple of players 94. that have already played. Oh, there, it does make a difference if you can get a game under your belt prior to the, you know, a match like this with the seed. 97. So then you require 40. <laughs> 20. Well, there's an outside chance here Luke for Little Rock. 126. Treble 19. And now another or the single. It is a single for the ball. 80. Then you require 20. Moving closer. Almost there, Ben. No oh. score. Went forever away. Luke, well, you it's require half a dozen darts. Miss at the double to hold in the first leg for Hazel. And now Tops sees Littler pinch Luke a leg, Littler. and it's a leg that he wasn't really in. Second leg, it's Luke to throw first. Game on. An immediate break of throw for the 15-year-old who wins his first leg at the Lakeside World 100. Championship. Well, if that hasn't settled any butterflies, nothing will. I think he'll go on strength to strength now, from what we're hearing about him. Yeah, he has been a player who's going from strength to strength. 80. One plenty of youth titles on the England dart circuit and WDF ranking titles as well. He's won a couple of senior titles, 50, including the 70. Irish Open. Mm. All the youth titles you can mention, England Open, British Classic, Welsh Open, Welsh Classic. He did actually beat Ben Hazel in the semi-finals hey, of the that. Irish Masters. On, really? Oh, right. It was a 5-2 success for Luke on that day. Well, he'll have that in the back of back of his mind, that's an unfortunate 120. That caught the flight on the way in. We are only seeing Luke in the men's tournament, not in the boys' event. He was beaten by Leighton Bennett. 60. En route to that. All oh, right. And Bennett will play Charlie Large. So if Little had of one, we could have had Little of V Large. Yeah. <laughs> 100. That would have been fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. He's down to 124 in leg two on throw. And he does seem to have settled down very nicely now. Missed the 100. ball for the 126. Luke, you require 124. Now he's got the 124. 54. Bullseye. 84. Again, maybe just showing a sign of maturity there. Mm. It would feel nice to bed a bullseye in your yep. first couple of legs at Lakeside, but he played the percentage shot. 100. Luke, you with. require 40. So it's double top for 2-0. 80. No score. Ooh. Seemed to then kind of come in and out. 80. The darts <laughs> above the double, just causing a deflection there. And now Hazel can try and pinch a leg in similar style to how Luke did in the first one. And that's Age exactly what he does. Yeah, ben Hazel. Well done, Luke. 
Third leg against Ben to throw first. Game on. So the littler fans watching on. They won't have been happy with how the last leg panned out, but it's been a, a similar start by both players. Hazel racing away on throwing leg one, Luke pinching the leg, and then Hazel doing the same four, thing to him. Four. I think it's a fair position, 1-1. One, one. Settles the nerves, first couple of legs, get them out of the way, and then we can move on. 44. Well, that's what I'd be thinking to myself anyway. Yeah, best of five as well now, of course, yeah. in the men's tournament. 139. So first, leg, first set, perhaps not as important as it was in the round that you played in. Oh, exactly, yeah. I mean, the uh, best of three sets is a little bit cutthroat, unfortunately, but that's the game. And Hazel did play all three sets in his 60. meeting with Hopai Puha, the New Zealander. Mm. And it was a bit of a, a struggle for both players for much of that match, but Hazel then put his foot down in the final set, which he won 3 0. Overall, a good performance from Ben, that's for sure. Yeah, he seemed to go through all the emotions on the stage, but he was certainly a happy chappy at the end of it. <laughs> 100. Fifty-nine. A little bit nip and tuck at the moment. Yeah, not much in it. No. And Hazel's going to halve his score at least here. One hundred. Luke, you require one hundred and sixty. Will we see the second one of the day? No. Ninety-two. Good then you require one hundred. Seen some big finishers today. Really seems to have taken off the tournament on this Monday afternoon. Hazel opting against the 60. tops, tops route. Luke, you require 68. And it could be a, a third straight break of throw here. 36. Then you require 40. Double top. Game shot on the third leg. So Hazel ben holds. Hazel. Fourth leg, it's Luke to throw first. For the first time in the match, both players getting darts at double in every single leg of the match so far. Really is a 39. closely fought contest in the early stages. As you wonder how important this first set is going to be for the overall match. 140. And he did win the first set against Puha, but he didn't seem to settle Hazel as well as he has done here. Yeah. 99. Looks much more neat and tidy from the Hertfordshire man. 60. A pair of them were a little bit shaky on the doubles, and we have seen a little bit of that in this match as well already. 139. They each threw 30 darts at double in that match against Puha. My uh, word. 100. Hazel obviously hitting more and getting the job done. But yeah, it was a, a bit of a struggle at times. Yeah. 60. We saw the 174 from Luke Mike Warburton. Littler's going to have to take it out here. Or he could lose the first set because that's an excellent setup shot from Hazel. 76. It's a brilliant then you shot require shot. 24. Double 12 for the set. Game oh. shot and a first set. Ben Hazel. And Hazel hits it. And Ben Hazel. Well, Luke Littler on his debut on the Lakeside stage in the men's tournament has lost the opening sets against Ben Hazel, looking to spoil the story. Mr. Ben, in his second match on that stage, he won the first set 3-1. In the first four legs, both players had darts at double, but Hazel ran away, a brilliant 1-7-7 setup shot to leave the double 12, which he took out. And he has taken the opening Thank you, sets. ladies and gentlemen. Second set, first leg. It's Luke to throw first. Game on. We were talking about it before the break, Martin, that the good thing for Luke is that 
He's got a little bit longer than he would have had had he entered in the first round of the tournament. Oh, absolutely, yeah. A big difference between the best of three and the best of five. Much more comfortable with the best of five because I've, I've always thought and still do that, uh, you know, best of three is just cutthroat. 55. Particularly for world championships. I mean, we used to have that a lot in the Masters, uh, and that was only one hundred and three legs to the set, and best of and that was best three legs to the set, best of five sets in the Masters. And perhaps <laughs> some of the performances in the first round, some of the performances where we saw players struggling. It's not just the fact that it might have been the first time on the stage, but it's knowing that there's not really much margin for error, and there is no error there from Luke Littler. Well, that is the thing, the margins of errors. You know, it's, if you keep making errors, one hundred and thirty-three gives your opponent Luke, you so many opportunities. 84. What a leg of darts this is. Double six, yeah, and he's yeah, out of the first leg. Luke Lickler. Well, he's come firing back Second from the break. Second leg against Ben, <laughs> to throw first. Don't know if Dad's told him he's going to take away his pocket money or something, but he's certainly come back with some kind of motivation. One hundred. <laughs> Maybe it's more about what his mum would say to him if he don't win. 100. There, it's great to see him come out in such a, an explosive style. He is a, a rapid player, Luke Littler. 140. I suppose as a lot of the younger players tend to be these days. They do, without a doubt. I mean, Ben's really quite slow in, in many ways. It takes his time. You know, one of the slower ones of the uh, the, the new players. 140. Oh, excellent from Littler, who's hit 2 on 80 since the break. 100. Ben, you require 121. Oh, they're on the same score after nine darts in this leg. Treble 17 would have left the ball. It will be the same shot for Littler for another 42. 12 dart leg. Luke, you require 121. Bullseye. Oh. 86. Then you require 79. Game shot in the second leg. Ben Hazel. Well, Hazel takes it. That's a, a very two, clinical so finish, particularly the way that Luke has come racing out of the blocks. Hazel to hold firm, taking out that 79 to square up the set. I think they'd be quite comfortable with that, to be honest, at the moment. I think that shows in these three darts. 121. Yeah, well, he looks much more comfortable than he did in the opening match against Hopai Puhar. He really did yeah. display an array of emotions. Both players at times almost sulking on the stage, but <laughs> in the end he was beaming. 123. Good shot. Here comes another one, I think. Yeah. One hundred eighty. One in every leg for Luke Littler since the set started. Forty-five. Luke, you require ninety. Fifty. And again with. Ben not on a checkout, not getting involved in leaving the bulls at the end of the visit or anything, just playing very sensible stuff. 42. Luke, you require 40. Game shot and a third leg. Luke Littler. Fabulous set of darts. Ben up there with first. the best we've seen in the tournament. 12 darter for Luke to start, then a 15 dart return from Hazel, and then Littler goes out in 14. Amazing 100. Stuff. Absolutely amazing. He did 134. Recently, uh, nine data, Luke Little. That was in a, a JDC tournament. Oh, right. I didn't know that. Brilliant stuff. Not too long ago. 140. He won the. I love Man Youth Tournament earlier this year. He actually lost in the final of the men's tournament as well to the now WDF 
ranked number one, James Hurrell. Oh, yes, of course, yeah, I remember seeing that result now, thinking on it. 100. Yes. So I've certainly got some form coming into this one. And although he didn't display it much in the opening set, he's more than made up for it in the then second. 160. Oh. Well, he'll get a shot at 102, because the 161 won't go at the moment. Oh, 41. sorry. 41. Yes, yeah, that's right. Luke, you require 102. I thought I got it the wrong way around, didn't I? <laughs> no, it is 102. And he does get a shot at it. Wow. And not only did he get a shot at it, but he takes it out. And there's Luke the big celebration from Littler, who has taken the set in double quick third time. Set, first set, absolutely two, remarkable first set of darts game. from the youngster. Fifty-seven. It's great when you see the emotions come out, isn't it? You can see that's what, see how much it means to him. It's brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. One hundred and forty. And he'll be happy that there isn't a break after that second set, and he can just carry on on the stage. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Ninety-seven. Yeah, because you haven't got to go off, and you sort of come down. From where you were when you planned, and then you've got to get back up there again very quickly. When you get ninety-six, what does it feel like, Martin, when you're playing players that play at this rapid pace? You must literally be throwing, retrieving your darts, and then ready to throw again by 60. the time you get back behind them. <laughs> well, I, all I can do is relate it to a game that I played on this stage years ago against Steve Beaton. And I, because Steve, one hundred and thirty-three. Player, as you know, and, I felt I was just chasing him around the okay, and I thought, what are you doing, Martin? Why are you chasing him? You know, just play at your own pace. You yeah. silly boy, mate. 81. <laughs> it can be easy to Luke, get caught you require 132. Oh, so easy. Hazel may be in a spin here. Another bullseye. Oh, he was going for it for double 16. That would have been a showpiece shot. A real highlight. 72. Well, when the shots are on, you've got to go for them sometimes. Well, he come back, looking at 60. 100. For a break of throwing the Luke opening leg of set three. 60. Game shot on the first leg. Luke Littler. Second leg is Luke two, throw first. Game on. And that's the third straight leg. Just carrying on this excellent run. 100. On course to post what would be the second highest average of the tournament so far. He carries on at this level, 95 plus. Brilliant. 60. Hmm. Impressive. It was Jim McEwen who recorded the ton, first ton plus average in his opening match. 101, I believe. He was, yeah, and exactly yes. 10 points less in his win against Aaron Turner today. But speaking in his interview post-match, Jim said that it was actually 46. good for him to have come through two different types of matches. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree with him on that. Yeah, it, it, it enables you then to sort of like get your head around what other players are doing, that you know that 85. next game could be another totally different player again in a, with a different outlook. and it, it does you good to have those sorts of mix of styles and so forth. Yeah, that's coming from a man who's been involved in just about every type of match possible on that stage. <laughs> that's, some, that's some crazy ones, I know that. <laughs> I think we all go back to that final against Phil Nixon. 101. There's the ones that sometimes people don't remember that can be the, the real sort of ones that make you go away from here 100. and focus on what you're doing. Luke, you require 170. You Do you remember the wins more or the defeats? I always remember the wins more. Yeah, I mean, Robbie Weddows was one, one of the, the few players that's uh, beat me in the first round. I mean, Robbie played brilliant darts that day. And it, that was one of the ones where you go away and you think, oh, 36. Oh, how did Luke, I require 74. not approach that game right? How did I get it all so wrong? But it was a good game nonetheless, you know. Well, Little has got that wrong. So 73 remaining. Luckily for him, 34. Hazel can't go out. Yep. I don't think he'd be too disappointed. Left tops. 99 would be good. Ish. 99. Yeah. The problem for Ben is that Litter had a burst of 14, 14, 12 in winning legs. And here he is 
Yeah, he's oh, so going a little bit more, going Nick after Nicklin. 19 darts, and yeah. he didn't get a chance to take the left. Yeah. Yeah. And all the darts now being pulled low, 60. really low. Maybe just a, a sign that Hazel is feeling the pressure. Feeling the heat, as we used to 140. say. 140. I'm sure anyone would be with Luke the Nuke pummeling the treble 20 like he is. 119. And years ago, we used to have them big, massive lights before the age of LEDs, and that used to raise the temperature. Something 100. There at times, really, really hot. And that can make a hell of a difference to your game and the way it, the way it goes. Yeah, there can be all sorts of factors, and sometimes it's. 96. The test of tenacity and who can deal with the environment and the situation best. Yep. But with the age of LED lighting, it's a lot cooler 60. these days, more comfortable. And we will see if this is going to be a coming of age tournament for someone who is seemingly destined to 44. be a star of the future in this sport. I think they both are, to be perfectly honest. Uh, regardless of the result of this, I think they're both going to go forward and do good things all the way through their sporting career. 60. Yeah, Ben is 31, which is usually a, a baby in darting terms, isn't it? Yeah. But he's 16 <laughs> years older than his opponent. Yeah, I know, but, you know, it's... 60. Luke, you require 141. Or oh, double 12. 117. Ben, you require 122. I feel like Hazel has to hit. He does. And he's dropped that one low again. 44. Luke, you require 24. To lead in sets. Yeah, and in it shot. goes, top and corner, the and set. there is the emotion Luke again. Luka. A big celebration from Luke Littler. Some big darts here at the lakeside after losing the first set to Ben Hazel. Littler has won five of the last six legs to storm into a 2-1 lead. And he's just one set away from winning on his debut in the Men's Lakeside World Championship. Littler came out from the first break with a different mentality a different level of performance it seems martin what does ben hazel need to do to stop this storming run well he's got to do a similar sort of thing he's got to make sure that he's not missing that and dropping below hey, ladies and gentlemen, below the trouble 20 we saw too many of those darts in Game the last set uh, i don't know whether it's uh, you know the mental thing or you know the way you approach it but i think he knows what he's got to do but will he be able to do it i don't know Well, the last couple of sets have been Fifth around the high standard that we've seen at the tournament so far. Littler's winning legs. As he looked for another maximum but can't quite manage it. Yeah, 12, 14, 12 yeah. in that second set. And then 14, 19, 16 in the third. Amazing darts from such a young player. And it took a 15 data from Hazel to take the, the one leg that he has won in the last six. 96. <laughs> That's when you know you're in trouble when he, you go to hit a 15 data to take a leg. I mean, when you've got your opponent hitting 12s and 14s, and oh, makes it hard work. 100. But that's the game, that's the way it happens sometimes. Yeah, his second set average, way in excess of 100. Yeah. Luke Littler. 100. Just looks so comfortable now, and it did. Take him that that first set to settle. Well, it's an environment he's not he's not actually played in before. Luke, so it's one of those things you have to get used to it, don't you? And he got used to it very quickly. Yeah, he's on the first <laughs> Luke he's used to it now. It's, ben to it's his early doors. He was missing that dart of the ball's eye. Yeah, by a long now distance as well. And now, bang, straight in. So the confidence has grown as well. 60. Made it look as easy as one, two, three. Yeah. 
42. And it's another leg completed in five visits. 140. The litter is averaging around about 94 right now. 10 points mm. better off than his opponent. 77. Some good games to look forward to this evening as well. Martin Anthony Allen against Jared Cole. Then Corinne Hammond against Rihanna O'Sullivan. That yeah. Is one everybody is looking out for. Then Richard Veenstra against Laszlo Kadar. The winner of this match will take on 58. the winner of that match in the last 16. And the number one seed closes the evening session. Brian Roman taking on the punk Johnny Haynes. I'm quite looking forward to that, see how old Johnny can get on. I think he'll be quite good, actually. He's dangerous 45. when he gets motoring. So we'll just see how that one goes. Yeah. It's number one in the ranking or number two or whatever it is, it doesn't really matter because it's what happens on that stage when, you when you're playing your match that matters. Well, interestingly, Roman played in the three PDC Pro Tour events before coming down to Lakeside, and that didn't work out for Connor Scott, Connor Scott, sorry, very well. 100. No, that's right. It, it was a bit of a surprise, but sometimes it just doesn't go together. 90. Well, after the one, two, three. Then you require 96. He's been struggling to find trebles here, Luke Littler. And it's opened the door for Hazel to, to stop this run of losing 56. legs. He'd lost the last five on the spin. Well, they have three darts at tops for certain. Luke's 165. Right his A bit of pressure on it there. Then you require 40. Gage Sorry. on the second leg. Ben Hazel. That's good. Third leg, it's Luke to throw first. Game one. Sticking around for now. Little does have the darts in this set. 40 oh, wants to wrap it up. Fifty-seven. So far today we've seen some. Some decent stuff, a really entertaining battle that went right down to the wire between Mike Warburton and Dave Prins. It went Warby's way by three sets to two. Then Maria O'Brien came from a set down to beat Marilyn Noyens 2-1 to book her place in the quarterfinals of the women's tournament. And as we mentioned, Jim McEwen getting the better of Aaron Turner. 3-1 in sets. 83. Well, at the moment, it's uh, not happening for Ben. Going all over the place again. 94. It's a better dart, Up switch, wasn't it? A couple of darts. Yeah. Low on that treble 20 again. 33. He's shaking his head. He's not sure what's going on. Well, there were two times that might affect Luke Littler in this match as Hazel looks to hit his first 180. 140. Orbit. One was the start and the other would be the end. Yeah, yeah. And he was shaky at the start, absolutely sublime 51. in the middle, but now as we see him, see him approaching the chequered flag, just seems to be breaking down a little bit. Is that where the break comes into play? Because they just come back from a break. 94. So, <clears throat> what happens during the break? Taking your focus off the game. 58. Then you've got to build it back in again. Then you require 80. So that chance for Hazel to break comes now. And he's got two darts, a double 10. Double five. And he ben hits. And Hazel there. gets the break he needs. Ben Hazel. And this story may not be over just yet. <laughs> Fourth leg, it's Ben to throw first. Game on. The twists and turns of dance. And that's why we love it. <laughs> it is. And as you've mentioned, Hazel's 16. a very good player in his own right. He has picked up a WDF ranking title that came in Lithuania back in 16. 2018. Yeah. Did appear at the O2 in the final BDO World Championship. 2020 lost out to Chris Landman. 
has attempted qualifying school in the PDC three times, but without success. So some say that can be a bit of a lottery at times. From what Four, I understand, Four. yeah, it can be. Um, I've never participated in it, and I don't think I'm ever likely to. But we are going to see you here soon, aren't we, Martin? Uh, yes, indeed, with the World Seniors. 45. World Seniors Masters. We're talking to the runner-up yeah. of the World Seniors Championship. That happened earlier this year for the first time. Robert Thornton taking that title against Wolfie in the final. <laughs> Blew me away in the first three sets. 60. <laughs> I thought it was the wolf who was supposed to blow people away. Well, it was the other way round. It was that wily old Scotsman. Yeah, great tournament. And the master is coming to Lakeside. I see many of the legends of the game. But we may be seeing a rising star in action here. But he's going to have to raise his game to avoid a, a deciding set. Yeah. 78. 60. I think he's just slowed down a little bit, Martin. Luke he doesn't seem to be as, as rapid as he was in that blistering spell in the middle of the match. Is that maybe a sign 101. of pressure? I would think it is. Um, yeah, he knows what he can hit and he knows he gets into his flow then you require so it becomes so much easier well 76 on offer for ben hazel to force this to a deciding set double top in it goes and, and we are and going the distance ben hazel. and now it's ben that bellows out a come on he's taking the game to the number eight Fifth seed final set. who has First the dark in the deciding so set game on but he wouldn't have felt like it would be going this way when he was hitting everything he wanted at will in that middle of the match surge. But now Hazel, well, he has the darts in the deciding 57. set. I should think he's uh, growing in confidence at the moment. 134. But will Luke dent that confidence? I don't know. Well, it's the beauty of set play, isn't it? Yeah. It can all change so quickly. Luke could have been out of sight in a, a leg play match after that brilliant yep. spell. 134. Brilliant darts. 37. It's almost like he's 137. flicked a switch. He, a switch that he forgot to flick at the start of the previous set. <laughs> exactly. 133. Turn around is just sort of amazing, isn't it, really? 58. Luke, you require 100. So here we go then. Double top. Double 10. Oh, what a the Luke Lippler. Switch has been pressed. Second and it is a First. Third game on. dozen dart leg of the game for this sensational young talent. One hundred and thirty-four. And the important thing, of course, is that he's broken immediately when Hazel had the darts in the set. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. I mean, he's, he seems to have made a positive 57. move in his mind. I'm going to throw more at Treble 19 because they're going in a lot better. Having said that, he's going to stay on 20s now. Well, he can hit them as well now, Martin. <laughs> Can't miss. He does have a, a blink and you'll miss it style. And oh, yeah. He's back to his his old self. All of a sudden, much to Hazel's annoyance. Don't know about Luke the Nuke. It must be 83. Luke the Nuisance, as far as Ben is concerned. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it, isn't it? <laughs> Sixty. Luke, you require one hundred and forty-four. Well, he's going to have six darts at this anyway. Whatever. Eighty-eight. He's had a couple of really good finishes in this match. 
The highest of them being that beautiful one, two, three on the bullseye. Yeah, Luke, you require 56. just 56 to move within one of the win. Tens again. 36. A chance for Hazel to break back. Big, big moment this. 104. 84. Let's have a trouble. 20, double 12. Yeah, right yeah, shot. shot. What and a shot. Leg. Ben Hazel. And what a response from Ben Hazel. And once again, just as it looks Third like Littler ben to throw had first. made the gap too large, Able. Hazel hits and reels him back in and effectively, effectively takes control of the match. He will have the darts in two of the 16. last three legs. This would be the point in the game where I'll be saying to myself, you can break him and break him now. <laughs> yeah, well, Luke would have thought he'd done the hard work when he broke yeah. in the opening leg. Hazel had other ideas, and he's already come through a, a gruelling battle on that stage. 97. Fantastic. 180. Back he comes. With 180 number four. Incredible. 58. Yeah, all of the match 180 is going the way of the youngster. Number five. 140. <coughs> well, not quite, but that break back is certainly on the cards. 60. Yeah, just 81. You require 81. Double 19, I would guess. Double 12. 57. Well, it would have been a fourth leg in the match in which he'd gone out in four visits to the board. But he does have time on his side after... 59. A lot more 100 time. to 180 and a 140 in the leg. Eighteen. Ooh. Then you require 167. Well, if the 104 was big, how big would have the 167 be? He's not going to do it. It would have been absolutely massive, wouldn't it? 85. It's that little double Luke, you three require six. that Luke is looking at. Game shot. Really aggressive dart. Luke Littler. Wasn't worried about it, attacked it. And he gets back in front and will Four now five, throw Luke for a place. Throw first. Game on. In the last 16 for the Lakeside World Championship. 43. Maybe he just thought what I just said. Because <laughs> he's off with 43, though. Hazel 45. not offering much in the way of reply. 60. It's good steady darts, as they say. 123. But Ben's not going to give up easily. He has been a, a plucky opponent for Luke Littler, who's needed yeah. to play his best stuff at times in this match. 40. I think wh whatever happens, both players are going to come away with a lot of credit. 45. Oh, I think so. Massive amounts of credit. There's very little to choose between them, score-wise, at the moment. 132. Great guards. Well, down to one, two, six. It all started with an attempt at the one, two, six, yeah. which he missed the ball for. Will it end by him putting that 140. right? One hundred and forty. Luke, you require one hundred and twenty-six. Single nineteen. He gets the treble again for double six. Game. What a Shots. way to win it Animals. for Luke Littler, Luke Littler, who goes through to the last 16 at the lakeside at just 15 years of age.